Hi, it's Dr. JJ, and I'm here on the set of Home and Family with a few more additional life-saving tips for you and your families. Now, a big question comes up, what if you don't have a pool fence? What do you do? Well, the answer to that is you should have one. You should make it a priority. It should be the first thing you think of when you get pregnant if you have a pool in your house or a pool at grandparents' or caregivers' homes. That being said, if it's not in your budget right now, make it a priority. Take out a loan, trade services, do anything, but get that pool gate installed by the time your children are crawling. If you can't or if caregivers or grandparents are unable to put a pool fence in. Make sure that the doors leading out to the pool, that means all doors possibly leading to the pool, have a sliding bolt well above your children's reach. You can get a cheap bell that really clangs and attach it to that door so that if a human makes a mistake and doesn't lock the door, you're going to hear that bell ring if somebody tries to go outside. Similarly, if you can get one of the alarms that sit on the surface of a pool, it's a motion sensing alarm. Spend some money on that and put it there and make sure it's turned to the highest volume. And if you have grandchildren over, you have little ones who can't swim, don't put your uh, stereo or records on, don't have music blaring in the house. You want to be able to hear every nuance, every little sound that these little people make. And if they don't make sound, you better start looking for them. Just in the case, as Mrs. Villasenor, drowning can happen in less than two minutes. It's a silent event. It's not flailing like what you see in the movies. And it can happen in a heartbeat. Don't let it happen to you. Make that pool gate a priority.